Welcome to the 5-Minute Crochet Podcast. I'm Ellen Gormley. Hello. So you may recognize this room. I decided to work from um, the dining room today since um, there's better light here and I'm the only one home, so there's no disturbing anybody. So good morning. Welcome to the 5-Minute Crochet Podcast. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. And Doggy's looking at me like, why are you down there instead of up in the office? He's so confused. Um, and he's bringing me toys. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited today. Why are you excited today? Um, everybody should find a little bit of reason to be excited each day. Um, I'm excited today because this weekend I'm hoping to make some more videos for you. I'm hoping to get some good crochet time. I am um, looking forward to spending some free time uh, intelligently, usefully, helpfully, healthfully, <laughs> using my free time wisely for my own, you know, rejuvenation, getting some things done, being productive. Um, so we shall see what curveballs come my way. So um, thank you for everybody who's been with me um, all along the way, but especially this week. Good morning, Linda. Thumbs up, everyone. Thank you so much, Linda, for reminding us daily to do a thumbs up. Hey, Brian, happy Friday. Happy Friday, happy Friday. So um, what else is going on? I'm excited about crocheting on the blanket and the greenery blanket, which I have not done in a while. I'm excited about um, going back and... I might, I love this pattern so much, this diagonal Tunisian lace that I'm working on, this baby blanket, that I might consider taking the basis of this pattern and tweaking it to turn it into something new. So um, we'll see, we'll see what inspiration hits me and if it works out. Hi doggy, bringing me toys. Okay, so what else is going on? What do you have planned this weekend? Are you working on anything in particular? Are you working on, oh, so some of my, some of our friends who are in Australia are already at Friday night. So what are you hoping to do? Um, what's your weather like in Australia? Which I know Australia is a huge country and it, the climate might vary from place to place, but um, how's the weather in your part of the world? And are you, do you, do you sh slow down on the crocheting when it gets warmer? It certainly has been warm here the last few days, but it is, um, I think supposed to be cooler today, which will be really nice. So I've got the windows open. I've got a sweet little video of Hobie with the wind blowing his fur as he sits on the couch, <laughs> which is sweet. Um, but are you crocheting, are you looking forward to crocheting for warm weather? or cool weather, are you ensconced in spring? So, um, yeah. So I did some colorful stuff there for a while. Now the gray baby blanket is, um, oh, oh my goodness, Marie, I'm so sorry. And bring comfort crochet for the car. Okay, your mom passed away. I, Marie, my heart and prayers go out to you. I hope that, um, you drive safely and get there safely and are comforted by crochet and well wishes from others. And I hope my mom is on the other side waiting to greet your mom with a big hello. So um, I hope your day goes as comfortably as it can. Don't, don't whine at me. Don't whine at me. Oh yeah, boy, it is, you are just never old enough to lose a parent, you know, never old enough to lose a parent. So my heart goes out to you. Okay, so definitely though, crocheting is a relaxing and valuable use of your time, definitely brings comfort. Absolutely, crochet is surprisingly important at times like this. Yes, it does bring Comfort, it does bring kind of a meditative prayer for quality, prayerful quality to time. Um, it makes you feel somewhat useful when you're feeling pretty useless. 
you know, it's nice to create something when it feels like things are falling apart. Um, so absolutely. I can't tell you how many times I've crocheted and, or pretended to crochet in emergency rooms or hospital rooms. So just having something to hold on to is really helpful and have something to look at other than the phone is really useful. Um, so, you know, be easy, be gentle on yourself. Don't expect um, to, you know, make super huge progress in the project, but at the same time, use it for what it's there for, which is coping with hard times. So, okay. Okay, doggy wants to play. I do have to go. I have a nine o'clock client, but I'm wishing you a relaxing and valuable use of your time. And I uh, wish you safe travels, Marie. Everyone else who's traveling, I wish you safe travels. Um, some of you might be celebrating Passover on Monday and Tuesday. I know I'm among folks who get it. This is a nice bright spot in your day. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, we're so sorry for your loss. Um, Linda shares for Marie. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I gotta get to work, but um, thank you for sharing your lives with me a few minutes at a time. Um, it does brighten my day too, and, and it makes me feel less <laughs> less lonely in my, in my uh, you guys are my virtual water cooler. You know, I feel like you're my coworkers in a lot of ways. So thank you so much for being here. Please give a thumbs up if you don't mind. Go watch some videos if you get lonely. And I will see you. The plan is to see you Monday before nine and then um, have some videos for you, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I can get that done this weekend. Have a great day. Bye.